In this video, we're going to learn about data quality insights and data preparation and enrichment. Okay, let's click Create, Data Set. Let's go ahead and get a local data set from our machine. Let's pick the employee roster, open it up. Here we get a quick overview of the data in the file. It's what we like, so click OK. We now enter our Data Quality Insights editor. Here we can get a quick histogram overview of values across each of the columns. Let's go ahead and perform some operations on some of these columns. Let's go ahead and take the ID, change it from a measure to an attribute. Okay, we did that. Now let's go ahead and fix these missing or null uh, items in this education field common. Let's go ahead and click Other. Now you can see the red warning has gone away and all the values in that column are what we want. Let's go ahead and look at the semantic enrichment that's available to us. We can see that we can fix and repair our zip code, put that leading zero back in. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and enrich zip code with the city. So now we're adding in data that wasn't originally part of this data set. Great, we got that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our social security number that's in here. We don't want that sensitive information showing, so let's go ahead and obfuscate that. Great, we did that. Uh, now let's go ahead and we can start looking at all the steps on the left-hand side here that show us what can be repeated every time this data set is reloaded for us. Now let's use one of the built-in data transformations to create a numeric bin column. Let's go over here. Let's find distance from home. We're going to take that column. We can see the uh, transformations available. Let's go ahead and select bin. We can see now how we've got four bins uh, as default. Let's change it to five. We can go ahead and we're going to add that step as well. And again, we're seeing our transformation and edit steps all being added to the left hand side. Let's go ahead now and let's derive age from birth date. So we're going to go ahead and create a new column. And now we're going to use our expression editor to create the age column. Let's go ahead and create age. And then what we're going to do is take our current date. So it's always going to be current when this file is used. We're going to take the year function and get the year from the current date. Then we're going to subtract the birth date of each individual from the current year to get their age in years. Now let's validate that we have a correct formula here for our age. We see we have a correct formula, so let's go ahead now and save off this data set. Let's go ahead and name it Employee Roster when we save it here. And after we're done saving here, we can go right into doing analysis on this and create a workbook. We hope you enjoyed a quick overview of data preparation and enrichment in Oracle Analytics Cloud.